anyone can create any application using this AI code editor, literally anyone. Here you can see an eight year old using this AI code editor to create a chatbot. This will automatically create the required files, edit the files, fix errors, and also integrate it in your terminal. You are able to run this using your natural language. That is the power. This is going to increase your productivity twice compared to how it was before. That is Cursor, the AI code editor. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Cursor, the AI code editor. This Cursor AI code editor knows your code base. It has auto completion for your code by just clicking tab. You can edit in natural language. It's same as VS Code. You can also integrate if you want to use any other large language model. This is available in free plan, pro plan and business plan. You can get started with free plan. We are going to see about code generation, multi-line edits, code based question and answer, using image to create a UI, ask the web if you want to get any latest information and also you are able to instantly apply those code changes. I'm going to take you through step by step on how you can create a website which is going to look like this with services, pricing and contacts. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Once after you download Cursor in your computer, you should be able to view something like this. So here you got a few icons. Just click on this to open the terminal. You can click on this icon to open the sidebar and you can click on this to open the right hand sidebar. So these are the key shortcuts which you need to remember. First is Command Shift I. This is completely automated control panel. Then Command I, that's like a mini control panel. Command K for inline chat and Command L for sidebar chat. So first let's start with Command Shift I. So in my cursor, I'm going to click Command Shift I and that'll open this control panel. So here I can ask it to create a website. So in this, I'm going to type, create a basic website with home, services, pricing, and contact. This website is about providing AI services. It's a HTML, CSS, and JavaScript website. That's it. Now I'm going to click the submit button, and this is using Claude 3.5 Sonnets. Clicking submit, and here you can see it automatically creating all the code for those pages. It's writing the CSS now, now it's writing the JavaScript. So now all three files got created. Now I'm going to click apply all on the right hand side. Click apply all. And now if I close this window, you can see all the files got created with all content. Now I'm going to open this. So just clicking this icon to open the terminal. You're going to just say open index.html and then click enter. Now you can see the website here is just very basic with services, pricing, and then contact, but we want more advanced. So let's improve this from here. So coming to my code editor, I'm going to click Command Shift I again. Now continuing my chat, I'm going to ask, create each page in a different URL. Because currently I saw everything is in one page, but I want to click to each individual page. So I'm going to do this and click enter. Now this is creating individual pages, such as services, pricing, contact, and now it's all done going to click accept all and everything's ready now. Now I'm going to open the index.html file again. And here is the page with services, pricing and contact. Now I need to improve this. This is very basic. I'm going to ask you to create more content for the home page. Coming to the control panel again, there are multiple options you can try such as add files and then choosing index.html. Here I can say add more content and different services it provides with various content blocks and click enter. Accept all and here you can see all the content. Now I can say add more styling and make the website more modern. So after this clicking submit and accepting the changes and here you can see this website now looks more modern with services, pricing and contact. But we need to add more services here. Let's ask that here, add files and then services, add more services with content for each service and add that in different blocks. Now accepting those changes and here you can see our AI services with machine learning, natural language processing, computer vision, robotics, AI consulting, custom AI solution, ready to leverage AI for your business. Get in, that is good. 
Now let's go into the pricing page. Ask it to add more content to the pricing page. Add more content to add pricing and add content. Make it more interact. Now it's making those necessary changes and accepting those changes. Now here is the flexibility pricing plans, basic pro and enterprise, frequently asked questions. If I go to contact, you got the contact form here. So I can see it's not aligned properly. So I'm going to ask. I can use at code base, align the form properly. Also align the pricing page properly with the modern look. Applying those changes. And here you can see now the contact form is aligned properly. If I go to pricing, this is much more professional than how it looked. Before. This is really exciting. Now we have a full-fledged website with home, services, pricing and contact, which got created in just less than 10 minutes. In natural language, I didn't code anything at all. So coming back to the code editor, clicking escape, then here I want to show you how this can automatically give suggestions. So here, let me try this. When I press space, it's giving me auto suggestion on the clause if we plan to add that. So this is for contact info in the contact page. So now I can choose this line and press the control I to bring up the mini control panel. So here you can see it automatically chose the contact form. I can also click the styles.css and then select all and control I to add the style here as you can see. So now we are choosing multiple files, multiple section of the file as marked here in the mini control panel. And I can ask add additional styling to the contact section Clause. Contact section clause. Clicking enter. So now it's modifying the style.css and the contact.html. Accepting all those changes. Now if I go here, I can see the contact has came to the center. So it aligned that properly. Also it made the changes here. So that's what command I does. So we saw about command shift I. Now just saw the mini control panel command I. Now next command K for inline chat. For Windows user, you might need to use Control instead of command. So coming to the code again, I can just choose this and click command K and then say add more contents. If it's a code, you can even refactor the code. So now it's adding more contents, then I am accepting that, clicking save. So in my contact form, I can see the additional content automatically got added. And the final thing is to try command L, that is the sidebar chat. So that is just simple. Just type command L and you'll have the chat. So by default, it's using the current file. And I have added the web access as well. If you want web access, you can even just type at web. So I can just say search internet about the latest AI features and add that to the contact page, making it compelling for users to fill the form and clicking enter. And now you can see it's automatically going and searching the internet. This is really powerful. So currently, even if you want to fix any errors, we need to manually go and search the internet, but this will speed up the process of automatically searching the web and giving us that. And here's the suggestion. I'm going to apply. I'm accepting this. And now you can see in the contact page, we got extra block about the latest feature, dynamic form adjustment, real-time data analysis, personalized responses, smart questions. So finally, I want to show you how you can add an image and then create code from that image. So here you got the option in the chat, click on image. There I'm opening an image. This is the image asking to design the contact form like this. Design the contact form like this and clicking enter. Now the code got generated, applying it and accept. Similarly for CSS, applying and accept. JavaScript, apply, accept. Just saving those files. And in the contact page, you can see that it took the design and changed the layout as we expected. So the input, what I gave was this. It took the layout and the information in the form. And based on that, it changed that here. Similarly, you can use an image to create the code. I'm really excited about this. This is going to speed up your development process twice or three times more and increase your productivity. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.